now that we have designed our network, we can start doing the actual implementation. So let us bring our workstation. Let us shut down our Ubuntu base machine. We can now make a clone of our Ubuntu base machine. Right click, manage, clone. Next, I want a full clone. This will take up more space on your hard drive. Give the new virtual machine a descriptive name. And here we have our shiny brand new Ubuntu machine. It's configured and is an exact replica or clone, if you like, of our Ubuntu 20 base. Let us make yet another clone. In this way, we now have PC1 here, and we have PC2 there in our machine pane. As PC1 and PC2 are clones of our Ubuntu base, they will also be connected to VMnet8 and be dynamically allocated an IP address, a copy of the base configuration. Selecting PC1, power it on. Let us check out the network settings. And we can see that we have actually got 1056, 16, 90 as our IP address. This is because our Ubuntu base is not switched on. So PC1 was allocated that address. Let us fire up PC2. Select PC2, power it on. And here we see that our PC2 has got the address 1056.16.91. And that again was assigned by our VMnet 8 router 1 DHCP configuration. We will dive into these numbers a lot more in this course. Our diagram is actually not correct at the moment. It should say DHCP because this is DHCP allocated IPs right now over here. On PC1, we have the 90. On PC2, we have the 91. Let us configure PC1 and PC2 to correspond to our network diagram, to our design. Disable networking. Edit connections. Let us add a new connection profile. Ethernet, yes, please. Let us give it a name. I'm on PC2 here, so that would be 101. This is just a symbolic name, but it will help immensely with a descriptive name here when you have to choose your network profile. IPv4, set the allocation of IP address method here to manual. Manual is synonymous with a static IP address. Let us add in our new IP address for PC2 here. When we look at when the design, we can see it's going to be 10.56.16.1. 101. We take the net mask from our network ID. So that goes in here. 
we take the gateway ID from the router in our design. We add in a pointer to a DNS server out on the mighty internet. In this case, the easy to remember 8.8.8.8. .8 Save this, close. Enable networking. And now we have to choose our VM that ate static.101. Unfortunately, you will get a, a wrong message up here. Our connection is actually up and running as we will test now. Let's open a terminal to test our settings. And we can see here that our IPv4 settings are as we expected. Let us move over to PC1 and configure its networking setting. Let us view our settings in the terminal. Our IPv4 address is as expected. We can also view our settings, of course, up here in connection information. Make sure the configuration corresponds to your design. Let us see if we can ping PC2 here from PC1. When you want five ping messages, and that is working. Our PC1 and PC2 can reach each other by their static IP addresses on this VMnet8.